from Cadspace. Uh, after doing our last uh, thread feature blog, um, we had a request f from someone to make a nut to suit. So here we go. So for this one, before I created that thread feature here, I created this shaft here, which we're going to put the thread on. And as you can see, the diamond rivet is 55.8. Uh, the reason for that is that I went online, looked up uh, in this metric thread table uh, for the size of thread that I'm after, what the major or what the range of major diameters for bolts are. So here we have 55.94, 55.47. I just picked a value in the middle there, which is how I came up with 55.8. So just somewhere in that range. And then I created my M54 by 4 thread on that. And that was that done. So when we go to create the nut, we're going to need to do a similar sort of thing. First thing I'll do is just get the general shape of the nut. And I'll just make this approximate. Doesn't need to be perfect, obviously, for my purposes at least. And we're just going to extrude that up, maybe 15 mil. Doesn't matter again too much. So I need to cut a hole in the top of this and this hole needs to be the right size for me to then cut the thread on the inside so this hole actually needs to be the minor diameter for the nut which is over here so anywhere between these two values is fine I'm just going to pick 52 keep it simple and there we go then obviously I'm going to cut all the way through there to give me the hole that I'll be going through with my thread which is what we're going to do next so we are going to tap this hole with our M56 by 4 and then as we normally do, select the edge you want to go from, face you want to go up until, and then I'm going to offset this top one so that it, the thread extends the entire length of the nut there. And then we have it, the thread is done. So I'll just save this quickly so that we can insert it into an assembly and so first of all I'll add our threaded section that we want to put in there and then the nut that we created so a good way of mating between things like this particularly this nut because I don't really have a good cylindrical section to mate to to put at my concentric mate is to turn on the view temporary axes here so then I can just select these two make them coincident and then they will easily slide and leave it to rotate just as I want them to. So I can turn them off now that I don't need them to mate anymore. And if I do a section view here we should be able to see that they fit nicely between each other. So I'll just get these to approximately the right position there. And as you can see that fits nicely in there on both sides so we've got a little bit of clearance and that's all as per the standard with the major and minor diameters of the nut and the bolt. Um, so that was pretty simple. Um, if you're wanting to do anything pretty precise with these threads, um, the ones that are included with SOLIDWORKS 2016 are just a reference so if you need them to be accurate I would highly recommend drawing them yourself as per the standards. Um, and just as a little bonus here, I actually did one earlier and put it into motion analysis. So if you've got SOLIDWORKS Premium, you can uh, go to your add-ins, turn on SOLIDWORKS Motion, and to create this little animation I'm going to show you, all I did was add this solid body contact, which treats them as real physical parts so that they can't fly through each other or anything like that, and then added this rotary motor to the nut to just spin it around, not move it up or down, but um, because it's treating them as solid bodies, it works that part out, and obviously it's going to work down the um, down the thread there. Right, well that's about it for today. Um, if you have any requests or questions or anything like that, feel free to ask away. And other than that, have an excellent Christmas.